hello everyone how are you today i am once again before you with some new topic of our discussion and today's discussion is coordinate geometry which is very very important part of our 10th standard syllabus coordinate geometry and today i am going to give you the point view of examination the concept of coordinate geometry it is very easy students and my friends it is very easy to know what is the coordinate geometry consist of for our 10th standard we have three formula based on that formula we will get a question of two marks three marks the next is we have the problems using the formula in the given given ratio how to solve it the first formula is called the distance formula what it is the distance formula what is the distance formula means let me explain you a a has x1 and y1 the coordinates the point b has the x2 and y2 the coordinates all right so in graph this is x x dash y y dash there are two points let a and b and this has the coordinates of x1 y1 ax2 y2 join these two points a and b the distance between a and b can be found using our formula which we call it is a distance formula what is the distance formula i tell you very very easy way point a has coordinate x1 y1 point b has coordinate x2 y2 the distance between a and b ab is equal to how to write the formula very easy what to do now you have to write a square root form yes you write x minus x plus y minus y you will be shocked and surprised to know that what the sir is showing absolutely wrong not dear i am showing you the trick how to write square root of x minus x plus y minus y you have to write now that reverse order 1 2 can be written as 2 1 the first it is 2 and 1 x2 minus x1 whole square y2 minus y1 whole square is it clear that this is the distance formula that is means the coordinate x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square it is very easy to remember x minus x whole square y minus y whole square put to 1 to 1 that will be easy for you yes or no uh, okay or you can if you are a bit enough intelligent and wise enough you can write a b the distance between the two points of the coordinate x1 y1 x2 y2 a b is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square is it clear this is called the distance formula suppose if one point is an abscissa where x is 0 and y is 0 what it is called now let a is x is 0 and y is 0 and b has coordinate x2 y2 how are you going to write the distance formula for this one it will be very easy a b is equal to square root of x2 minus 0 whole square y2 minus 0 whole square which is equal to x2 square plus y2 square this is the way how we can write the coordinate geometry distance formula this is all about the distance formula now the next very important formula which you learnt or might be learning in the next semester is the section formula what the section formula says the section formula the name itself indicates it has a section what the section is all about the section means c let a b is a straight line and a has coordinate x1 y1 b has coordinate x2 y2 there is a point p 
in between A and B. Right. This point has coordinate as X and Y. All right. Now, what to do? The formula says that the line AB is divided into the two part. That is AP and PB. But this point P is divided in some ratio. AP and PB is being divided in some ratio. Let me say that ratio. The first one is M1. The second ratio is M2. All right. This is all about the section formula. A line which is divided by a point P in the ratio M1 and M2. How are you going to write the section formula? The section formula is as simple as what we discussed the distance formula. This P, we have to find the ratio and we have to write this one. This coordinate X is equal to, right? What you have to write? Mx, okay, plus Mx divided by M1 plus M2. Or you can write Mx plus Mx by M plus M. Again, I am just, don't think that I am putting you in some confusion. I am showing you trick. You have to remember only the X, Y, M. Right. First, you have to write Mx plus Mx divided by M plus M. Now, you have to write it as this is what? 1, 2, 2, 1. Right? 1, 2, 2, 1 and this one will be M1 and M2. Very simple. M1 X2 plus M2 X1 divided by M1 plus M2. That is for X coordinate. And Y is equal to, again you have to write MY plus MY divided by M plus M. Again what? You have to write MY plus MY by M plus M. And you have to write it as 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2. M1 Y2 plus M2 Y1 divided by M1 plus M2. This is called the section formula. Yes, using this ratio, we can find the point, the coordinates of the point P, X and Y. This is called the section formula. M1 X2 plus M2 X1 divided by M1 plus M2, which is the X coordinate. M1 Y2 plus M2 Y1 divided by M1 plus M2, which is a Y coordinate. Okay. This is the way that we can practice it. Once again, I am showing you, just you have to write X is equal to, write Mx plus Mx divided by m plus m only the first part is 1 2 2 1 1 2 1 2 2 1 1 2 understand similarly write y is equal to m y plus m y plus divided by m plus m again 1 2 2 1 1 2 this is the way that we can write in a simple and very lucid way i hope you understand this easy method this is the section formula how to write now. Now the third one is what midpoint formula. Okay. Midpoint formula is simple. It is an average that what we find the sum of 2 divided by 2. That's all. See that one. A line A and B. <coughs> the coordinate is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. And the P. The P is divided in the ratio equal, that is 1 is to 1. The P is a midpoint of AB. In our previous section formula, we have not mentioned specifically what the P is. What is the division of the ratio? Here it clearly shows that P is the midpoint. P is the midpoint means it divides the whole line into two equal parts. That is 1 is to 1. Similarly, what you have to write it is this one x1 plus x2 by 2 and this point x and y y is equal to y1 plus y2 by 2 this is the midpoint formula you have it all right the third point is finding the area of the triangle using a coordinate geometry formula how to find it i will show it 
with this one i will just end my today's video by after showing that one all right now there are three points a b c a has coordinate x1 y1 b has coordinate x2 y2 c has coordinate x3 y3 join all these okay after joining this you get a triangle now using this coordinate points you have to find the area of the triangle and it has a formula how are you going to write area of triangle abc is equal to half into right half understand the first part is x into y minus y plus x into y minus y plus x into y minus y close the bracket all right what is this am i not putting you in some great chaos and uh, confusion not at all i am showing you to write this formula in using simple tricks you have to write x y minus y plus x y minus y plus x y minus y now you have to arrange the cyclic order number first number is 1 2 3 x1 into bracket y2 minus y3 now you have to start with the 2 2 3 1 x2 into y3 minus y1 isn't it now you have to start with here we we just we taken the middle one started with x2 now we take here x3 into this is 1 minus 2 what is this x3 sorry i have to write here x1 into y2 minus y3 x2 into y3 minus y1 and x3 into y1 minus y2 y1 minus y2 this is once again i write it here half into this is x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 into what it is y3 minus y1 and x3 into y 1 minus y2 this is the formula to find the area of a triangle only the thing is that we have to write 1 2 3 2 3 1 3 1 2 2 3 the cyclic order 1 2 3 2 3 1 3 1 2 1 2 only the thing is that x into y minus y plus x into y minus y plus x into y minus y first write 1 2 3 2 3 1 3 1 2 by this way we can write the formula in finger tips and in without what no mugging up without by hatting we can write it in logical as well as the tricky way with this one today i end up my video here with lot of hopes from you that my video will be watched till the end and watch hour will be increased so that your support will morale just boost my morale and it gives me a strength so that still i can bring out more and more important topics for you and discuss with you and just inculcate to you a good knowledge with this one i am going to end up my video take care and have a lots of care about you and study well and achieve a great success thank you god bless you